Tom Sullivan came to the University of Miami from Jacksonville and with future Hall of Famers Chuck Foreman and Burgess Owens helped blaze new trails in hurricane athletics. During that time recruiting was, uh, was a key that University was trying to bring other blacks in and I can remember during that time that uh, uni the University had put out this big uh, an article mentioning how many blacks that they recruited. They, rec they led the South, and Tom was the second. Now Chuck and I were the third and the fourth. So get an idea how far we've come. But I have great memories of Tom. He's always been, when we came through college, one of the heroes. Kind of a quiet guy at the time, but something everybody looked, somebody, everyone looked up to. Sully was a part of, of the maturing of, you know, both Burgess and I, because we came in as freshmen together. And, you know, Sully took the leadership role and, you know, and, and kind of led us down the right path, because he worked very hard in practice. And all you had to do is watch him and, and work as hard as him, and, and you'd be a pretty good ball player. Cochran again, second man through. Tom Sullivan turning wide right, 30. Sullivan, 35. Sullivan, 40. 45. Run down out of bounds. Far side of the field at the 48-yard line. With the hurricane, Sullivan did it all, playing running back, fullback, and special teams. Sullivan was really a steady, solid football player. Could do it all, block, catch the ball, come out of the backfield and do things that uh, most people couldn't do. And it was a re really a treat to be able to have two solid players like that. But Sullivan was really solid. Chuck was your explosive uh, big play guy. And it was a great combination. Probably the best combination that the University of Miami may have ever had as a, as a, as a tandem. He, uh, he was so fluid in his running. We called him Silky after the horse Silky Sullivan because his, his strides were just so pure. Just, a, just an outstanding athlete, one of the finest running backs that the University of Miami has ever seen. Fourth and goal, Cochran, Sullivan, diving, he got it! Sullivan scores on the fourth and goal. Bouncing off three Gators at the one, and he went in for the touchdown. You know, they used to call him Silky Sullivan, because his style, I really couldn't give you a, a definition of it, is that it's, uh, I don't know, silky smooth, I suppose, but no, he was, I think his greatest asset was his, uh, his quickness, I think. But he certainly was a real tough runner for 190 pounds. Sullivan's 1,361 all-purpose yards in 1971 still ranks fourth on Miami's all-time list. His 1,121 kickoff return yards still ranks second all-time in Hurricane football history. Would you look at Sully just if you saw him walking down the street as a college kid? He wasn't that big. He wasn't that fast. But he was so good and so well prepared that you had to keep him on. And as he got into the pros, then he got bigger and stronger with age. Sullivan went on to play five seasons for the Philadelphia Eagles, gaining over 3,000 yards rushing. But at Miami, he'll be remembered for his impact, both on the field and off. All the players at that time had a lot of respect for Tom. And uh, like I said, it's, it's one of those guys who, who was part of breaking the mold in terms of being the pioneers here. And I just have, again, a lot of respect for him during that time and just glad to see what's, what's going on with him right now. Tonight, entering the University of Miami Sports Hall of Fame, Tom Sullivan. <laughs>